Good evening, peeps, and welcome to Lisa, the painful RPG. Now, before we do anything, before we even start the game, before we say anything, I just wanna, I just wanna get it across. This game is one of the most disturbing, genuine games that I've ever had the pleasure of playing, as you can probably tell from the intro screen. And even though it looks crude and rude, and it is, then this is one of the best games that I've ever played. It's one of my favorite games of all time, but I haven't had the, or I haven't have been able to enjoy it and upload it here on the channel. And there's also a DLC for this that I've never played that I want to play. Um, but I wanted to play through this game again, so I decided why not just record it? I don't have anything else to do. So let's get started. But once again, watch with caution if you're if you're vulnerable or not vulnerable, sensitive to any of this sort of stuff. It can get a bit dark in there, and it is very much unlike anything else I've uploaded on the channel before. A game by Dingaling. This game was also kickstarted, by the way. And it's very unique. You little thief. Oh yeah, it's an RPG, by the way. Stop. Stop! Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball! I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. Wait, there's a lot of swearing in this. Oh. Mm. Woo! Idiots. Let's go, guys. Such a cool game. And it's a long time ago since I played it, so there's not a lot of this that I do remember, but... I do remember a few things. Thanks, Brad. Oh, I can walk. It's just a very dark game, in general, and you're, you'll see in a bit why it's like that. But it's a very good game, and I really applaud the developer for going in such a unique direction. Because this looks off-putting in every way. This does not look like a game you'd buy. But it's very good, trust me. Also has a very sad soundtrack. Or sad, lonely, cold soundtrack. Sounds like something you'd find it like an RPG of Fallout. Once again, my son steps into my house. Beat to shit. Oh! I'm not buying you another shirt. With the shit, kid. Go to your room. No. Mm, household abuse. That's always a fun topic. Lisa. Hey, Brad. You took some joy. It's a baby. What the hell? Um... It's okay, little buddy. Don't, Brad. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here we go. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you somewhere safe.
So this world, I don't remember if it explains it at some point, but it's set in the post-apocalypse. A very bleak post-apocalypse. Well, I guess most of them are, but... Hey, you guys. All a bunch of ugly bastards we are. Brad. What is that? Holy shit. Is that a baby? Yeah. Whoa. A baby? Where did you- where did you get that? I don't know. I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. Dudes, wait. You know what this means? It means there's a girl out there. Whoa. It means there's hope for humanity. Whoa! Bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, this is serious. Is it is it a boy or a girl? I didn't check. It's a girl. Wow. We need to sell someone. Rando, if we came to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and all the cool stuff we'd want. Dope, dude. That's... that's actually not a bad idea. The Rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. Brad, that's insane. You'll keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not gonna give her up. This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. So yeah, it's a future where all the girls, all the women, poof, magically disappeared. I don't remember exactly, there was some extinction event and all the women died. But except this, this one. Don't do it, Brad. Yeah. So this is, this is like as time progresses. I don't remember what the other guy's called. Oh, you, that's right, you're building a lair for her. I don't know if this was made by a single dude. Maybe a bunch of people. But then again, Undertale was also only made by two people, I think. So it wouldn't surprise me if this was just a single person. Hey, Dad. Don't do it. So, what do you what do you guys think Joy is? Could it be uh, a drug? Oh, sh she's already grown up. Brad. So now she, she could go away from the house. <laughs> where, where are the other guys though? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Don't know where you guys will get makeup though. Don't 
don't do it. Don't do it, Brad. Am I going to find more joy? Don't do it. There's not even a thing said. It's just all shown. Brad, you piece of shit, get up. Come on. Hey, you there. Uh, this wild beast won't leave me alone. I'd slay him myself, but um, I, I pulled my groin climbing this tree. You uh, give me a hand, would you? So yeah, this is a turn-based fighter, but I don't think I'm gonna show too much of the fighting. Because it's very much the same. It's very, it's very fun to play, though, a lot of the time. And it has some really weird, wacky music. And also you can do combos like that. It's pretty awesome. There we go. So I can level up and stuff like that. So there is a bit of farming in this, and that's also why this game can take a little bit to get through. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like maybe you could handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? No. No. No, I could not. Because the, the game is very hard, actually. I think I took it on normal la I don't think I took it on pain mode last time. That would explain why the game was so hard, though. Eh, that sucks. Anyway, I would've helped, but, uh, like I said, I heard my H string. I don't even remember if it asked me about um, difficulty last time. I'm Terry Hints. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. You're a very ugly version of Toriel. Wait! Um, you seem pretty lonely. Since I'm not a nice, since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool, it's settled then. Yay, Terry! Ooh, hint guy. Oh, those beautiful achievements. If this balloon wasn't here, you'd walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. Hmm. This game also has some dark humor in it. But yeah, if you're wondering, then I played this game um, at a friend's place, and I never really got to finish it. And that's why I wanted to buy the game for myself while it was on sale, so I could actually um, get to play it. So this is my save point. Hit. Oh yeah, right, I, I need to collect the bottles, because they're actually kind of useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make fireballs on them. Or just throw them in battle. Pick them up, Terry hits. Bottles are actually very useful. If I remember. Because fire bombs, they hurt a, a ton, even late game. What's this? Saving. You can save your game by consoling a crow. Somebody's gotta remember you. Jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember this. You can. It's so easy to fall off these ledges, but somehow I've I've never done it. I've never really fallen off a ledge like that, so I don't know how I've even complete or almost completed this game. Caution. Beware of Terry's good looks. They're dangerously appealing. Always looking out, Terror ter Bear. So Ter Terry is literally like one of the most useless people in the game. Resting. If you can find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully revived, but be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. But what choice do you have? Sweet Terry wine. Yep. This is what really, really sucks about um, the healing system in this game. See, you can sleep at a campfire. But there's a random chance of something something happening. Oh. Sometimes you can get, like, some, sometimes a guy just walks up and farts on you while you sleep, which is not cool. Other times you get, like, stuff stolen from you. Other times you don't even heal. Other times you get poisoned. So it's a really risky... If you want to heal, it's really risky. And sometimes maybe not even... Oh. Secrets out, Brad. It's gone. It's 
Sorry, dude. Don't remember your name. Sorry, guy. There's something I gotta do. Alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro, this looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's... Oh, that's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. I, I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering I'm a very strong warrior. <sighs> and also, when you sleep at a campfire, there's a risk of one of your party members getting... Getting... Or getting taken away, getting kidnapped. It's usually this guy. And I always gotta save him. He sucks. Oh, jeez. He's dead. He's dead. Found a rusty knife. How do I equip stuff again? Oh, yeah, equipment. Weapon. Oh, yeah, I think I can... Yeah, that's right. I can only wear, like... Boxing gloves and stuff like that. Yeah, so we don't have anyone that actually uses a knife yet. Which is weird, I just apparently prefer to use hand weapons. Hey, crow. Hey, crow. I don't remember if there's anything in this direction. Ooh. Found some mystery jerky. Yay, that's healing items. I believe. And you can have some- there's a lot of party members to get in this game, by the way. And the, the combat is actually really cool. Because, uh, like, every party, mem party member does something almost cool. Remember how I told you in the last game, or just a few minutes ago, that I've never done that? And I don't remember ever doing that? I think I might have a hazy memory. Because it seems very unlikely that I've never done that in the other game. Since I just did. Never mind. Uh, yeah, right. I forget about that. But yeah, this game's art design is definitely very rude, crude. It's not very pretty. It's a very ugly game. And, they, and I don't even think the guy who made it is gonna mind. Oh, hello. He's holding on to something. Found Diet Coca-Cola. Coca Coca-Cola Cola. Is that what it said? Maybe. But I don't think the guy would even get him. Um, feel bad if I told him this game is ugly because it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like this, crude and uh, just very bleak. Combos. Some characters can use combos in battle via the WASD buttons. Additional special attacks can be performed by entering the specific combo. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know this. Wary Terry. Hey, dude. Out of my way. All that little bitch all to myself. Well, also, some very wacky music in this. But I don't actually even need to do that. Because I can just do it this way. And then I don't even have to do it. Yeah, Terry, you go. See what I meant? See what I meant? Oh, do yeah, hints. Do you have any hints? Sure, cheer. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to... Yeah, I just wanted to use the attack automatically. There we go. I'm gonna skip a lot of this. Uh, in the future. So don't worry about it. But Terry can actually be very useful later on. When he does a lot of fire damage. And stuff like that. Uh, so he's not completely useless, and that's why I kind of like to keep him around. He's kind of a healer, mage type guy. In a, in a traditional RPG, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna skip most of these, because there's gonna be a lot, a lot of battles in this. The old salmon swimming down the stream tonight. Don't know what you meant by that. It makes no sense, but whatever. Yay, level up! I didn't level up, though. The hipster's moving on up. You go, Brad. He's even alive. He's dead. Nope. Okay. Almost some horror game vibes from this. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. What? So yeah, this is basically a depiction I don't know if there was any like nuclear stuff to it or whatever, or if that, that like that could explain why the terrain is as ugly as it is. Hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. 
Come here and I can kick your ass. That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. Am I is he even gonna survive like one hit? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna survive it. But yeah, I don't know if there's like an explanation or what happened since the terrain is so bleak and all that. But the biggest effect, ah, oh, goddammit, of that apocalypse or whatever happened is that all the women are gone and now all we got are some brooding, disgusting men. Eight max. Sick drops. Oh yeah, by the way, the currency in this game, um, ju just as I was talking about men and how we're all disgusting men and that's all that's left in the world, the currency is porn max. Just to give you an idea of how dire the situation is. Hey dudes. Ow. Alright men, we're gonna stay back here and block the entrance. You guys go searching in a case you've already been through here. Got a boss. Sugar boy, drifters, ow. I don't know. I don't have a lot of different manly voices to switch between, so. Hey, you even made a little shadow mechanic. So that's neat. Hey dudes. Is this a joke, bald man? Think you know what's going on out there? Hmm. I'll give you a taste. Yeah, I think I got it. I hope. Maybe that, I don't even know if I do. So Terry is practically useless at this point. Think I take one more hit? Yeah, there you go. Then I'm gonna use mystery jerky. Oh, god dang it. Push over. Oh, my bad. I, I don't know why he went first, though. Maybe that's just... I don't know, maybe that's just me he goes. And now I gotta go all the way back here. God dang it. Damn it. Hopefully she's already dead. I can see her in hell. Alright, we got him. Took a bit of... Took a bit of mystery beef. We got it. Even though uh, one party member's dead now. Well, he's not dead. That's the scary thing about this game, actually. There is enemies in this game that can kill off your party members permanently. Like, just straight up murder them. Not even knock out them, just murder them. And that's risky. It's always scary fighting those enemies, no matter how weak they are. Ugh, you guys went through it rough. I don't remember this guy's actually bad business. Hey, dude. Hola, hola. If you hear me, really need to get that off my chest. What the hell? I, I don't know. I, I If there was some joke there, I completely missed it. They're dead. Oh, really? You sh sure are observant. There you go. Oof. So, yeah, Rando's army is like the only established military. He suffered serious damage. That's a, ma that's a major damage. Time's a great teacher. Sadly, it kind of kills all its pupils. Oh, got a scar. Oh, no. Remember, that, does that face seem familiar to you guys? Yeah. Howdy, motherfucker. Our paths have crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do fondly. My heart just tumbles with the joy of thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripping off your own wares by now. But I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you one notice. Your yellow-shirted friend's life or all your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give us? All my belongings. Hmm, how boring. All right, boys, strip it quickly. I can tell that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Ugh. Off we go. All your stuff's been taken. Oh, don't worry, that's just the first of many moments. Terry will keep being a piece of shit that drags down everyone to all to no end. Uh, my head. Whoa, you look like hell. You happy? Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um. Get hit by a truck. There's more friends. Everything's okay now. Damn. First my hamstring and all this. You're a bad omen. You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I'm not king up with you. Terry Hints joined you again. Terry, why? 
Tammy, Terry, why? I'm sorry, Terry. Well, not, no, I'm not sorry, Terry. Terry, I'm sorry, you're, you're a piece of shit. Ugh! I just closed my eyes for one second so I could look at the screen. Okay, unnecessary. Ew. See, look at the background, it's all bleak. I don't know if it was actually like nuclear warfare or what happened. Or why only girls died. Or something happened. I think I looked it up online, and it just says like the blitz. And the blitz could be many things. Many things. So I can't get over there yet. I think I need a bicycle or something. Hey dudes. Hey dude, how you doing? Even like a storm's a brewing around here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some soup. Also, if you need, you can rest in my tent. Take some soup. Hell yeah. No, right. Right. Lost all my stuff. So, I think this is actually one of the few places where I can rest. And I won't get, um... Th there's a 100% chance of me being okay the next day. Uh, yeah, I think that's one of the few places that I can do that. That's only because it looks so... Let's find her. Whoa! Holy heck! Oh, you guys seem shady. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna leave off this episode here. I don't know what format I'm gonna do it again, and I'm very... I'm very kind of like free about that. I don't... I don't set boundaries or rules for how long this episode is gonna be. But I think this is a solid... I think we got a lot of story into this. I am really excited that I'm gonna play this game again. I didn't get to complete it last time, and I really want to complete the DLC as well. It was a really good game, and I remember just kind of binging it at the time. And it has some really good story in it. And it is really emotional, traumatizing, and of course painful. It is the painful RPG after all. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.